Welcome to Pack Valham. Yo, what game are we going to play? It is called Mal. How do you play? The only thing that I can tell you is that I can't tell you anything else. We have okay, to wait for Bethany. Yet? I'm going to call her. Who are you and why are you calling me? Do you always ask that when someone calls you? How did you know my name? I didn't say your name. What's that? Wait, was it with that hipster dude and that hillbilly? Bethany, you are reading the wrong script. Read a strange Oh, okay, that makes sense. Now, I was like, does he not know his own script? But I still went with it anyway. What's my line? Well, that doesn't matter. Where are you? Sorry, Omega. I forgot. I'll be right over. You can, like, play the intro or whatever. Okay, bye. Omega? I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Revelation 1-8, KJV. Sorry I was late. I was getting my hair colored. Is it pretty? It's very colorful. Thank you. It's very nice. The beautician was super Bethany. friendly. As soon as Bethany. I got there, she right away, like, reminded me of my grandmother. Bethany. That's not old. And we found out that we had common Bethany. interest in... Beth Bethany. Bethany Quinton, you are already late. And now you're wasting more time. Save your story for later. We are going to play a game. Sorry, why are we going to play Billy Giraffe Blog Spherical Articulated Endoplasmic Reticulum Discombobulated Supercalifragilistic Expialidocious Anti Disestablishment Hegerianism Hippopotam Monstrosis Creepy Daliophobia Numen Alterum How do you know those words? You put them in the script and you can pronounce them? Yeah! But you can't pronounce bibliography necessary. Nope. Okay, we are going to play Mal. Moo? Mal. Ma 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 mommy. I'll be the dealer for the first round. Wait, how do we play? The only thing that I can tell you is that I can't tell you anything else. If what you told me. I want to play Uno. Well, this isn't Uno. Spoiler alert, this is a game with secret rules, and the rules will be revealed in this video. What are you doing the cards like that? You get an extra card for questioning the dealer. 
Do I want cards? Failure to say thank you. Thank you. Okay, cards are bad. You and best get cards for looking at your hands before the game starts. Thank you. I wasn't looking at my hands, I was looking at my cards. You didn't say thank you. Thank you. We will start with me and go clockwise. Basic rules will apply. This game of Mal will officially start now. Have a nice day, Thanks, Jamie. Unnecessary talking. You gave me two cards. More necessary talking. You have to say thank you. Thank you, and have a nice day. You didn't say seven of spades. And you didn't say have a very nice day. Thank you, Bryce. Thank you, Jamie. Seven of spades. Have a very nice day. Eight of spades. Ah, it's not your turn. Thank you. Ace of spades. You, Jim, hurry it up. Unnecessary talking. Thank you. Not your turn. Thank you. Nine of spades. Target. Bad call, Jimmy. Thank you. All hail the chairman. All hail the great king of Mal. Thank you. All hail the great king of Mal. All hail the king of spades. Full of spades. Have a nice day. Change the suit. Thank you. Ten of spades. Jack of spades. Change the suit. Thank you. Hearts. Three of spades. Five of spades. Five of two. Whoops. Unnecessary talking. I know, I know. Thank you. More unnecessary talking. Thank you. All hail the great queen of Mal. All hail the very great queen of Mal. One more. Failure to say Mal. Thank you. Mal. Not your turn. Thank you. I win. Jimmy, did you know how to play all this time? Yep. I didn't because you didn't tell me. Did you tell Jim? Because if you told Jim and didn't... We got stir. I learned it out of summer camp a few years ago. Bryce didn't know I knew this game, right? That's right. And you had fewer mistakes than even once when I asked if you already knew. I still don't get it. Who wants to play a game with souls you make up? Remember, do not tell us your role before we play or while we play. If another player breaks the role, don't tell them the role just what they did wrong. I have a good one. Me too. Let me think of one. Hello? Hi, Mom. Okay, she doesn't answer all of her calls with, who are you and why are you calling me? Yes, I took out the laundry. I'm at a friend's house playing a game. No, I don't know where your book is. I didn't have it. I don't know how long it's going to take. Two hours? Uncle Charlie's Christmas party. This video was recorded during the Christmas season, as you can see by the decorations. But Christmas is not the main theme of the video, so it's not enlisted to link to in the description of Christmas Central. Oh my god, I forgot about that. I said, yes, I took out the laundry. I'm at a friend's house playing a game. No, I don't know where. Sorry. I said, oh my god. It's some kind of, like, letter in some of the That would be Greek. Another friend said it's Greek. Just four of us. Do you remember me mentioning bibliography necessary? 
Yes, the same four. But we are playing Mal this time. It is a card game with secret rules. Don't worry, if anything too questionable happens, I'll leave. And I won't put it on my channel. Okay, goodbye. Bethany, I thought you couldn't say bibliography necessary or Mal. I can't. It's those bigger words that I can't pronounce. What were they? I don't remember, but you did pronounce them. I did? Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah! I was just kidding. Can we play again? Yes, with our own rules added. Jimmy, can I explain the basic rules? Sure. They've already played with them and tried to figure them out, so this time we'll try to figure out each other. Basic mal rules. Do not look at your cards before the dealer starts the game. It is played like Uno. Jimmy said this is mal. Uno. Similar, but different. Yes. No talking is allowed except for telling another player what they did wrong or another rule that allows the player to say a certain thing. Each player gets a card upon a rule violation. For spades only, you must say the name of the card when putting it down. Ace is skip the next player. Sevens, you must say have a nice day, and the next player gives the card. Eights, reverse the order of play. Jacks, suit or value still has to match. And then it's wild, and you have to change the suit by saying what suit you want to change it to. Queens, you must say all hail the great queen of Mal. Kings, you must say all hail the great king of Mal. Jokers, we have not encountered any jokers. I have never played with jokers. I play with jokers. Who wants to guess what jokers do? I have a guess, but I'll let Beth and Dusty guess first. Did you call me Dusty? Yes, but I want to get if you don't want me to. I'm close to him. I'm fine with Jimmy, Jim, or James, but most people call me Jimmy. Technically, most people don't call you anything because most people don't know you. Right. I mean, most people who know me call me Jimmy. You can call me Beth. Do Jokers make all the other players get a card? No. Beth? Say, all hail the great Joker of Mal? No. Jimmy? Well, jokers don't have the suit, so I think if it's true about and you picked any suit. You might be the smartest person here. I am the oldest. People tend to get smarter with age unless they get dementia or something, which I fortunately never got. Okay, um, just like you say Uno when you have one card left in Uno, you must say Mao when you have one card remaining in Mao. Some people say you should say one more when you have one card left, but I say you should say Mao. After placing your last card, don't automatically win. All other rules apply, and you must say, I win. I just said it. I didn't think about it being a rule. Oh, well, I would have given you a card if you didn't say it. May I deal? Well, you won the first round, and I already dealt the first round, so yes, you may deal for our second round. Okay, does everybody have another rule? The game hasn't started yet. You can see it. Ha ha ha. All right, I didn't have to deal properly. I deal like that for every other game I deal, but I deal now differently, which is the way I did it for the first round. Why? If somebody questions the way I deal, they get an extra card. Oh, smart. Nobody has questioned it before B Duster has, and when I first played, the dealer dealt it one player at a time instead of going around the circle for how many cards we'd play with. I sold the ladder before with other games, so I deal the other games like that. We will start with Bass and then go to me, which is counterclockwise. Questions? No. Now I'll essentially declare this game is now as commenced. You didn't say I love you. Thank you. I love you. You didn't say I love you. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Not no, it. Not it. Not it. Oh. You lost the not it. Thank you. Nine spades. Seven spades. Have a nice day. Jack of spades. Clubs. Flip it over. Thank you. I love you. Ah, hail the great king of Mal. I love you. Ah, hail the very great king of Mal. Not it. it. Not it. 
You lost an audit. Thank you. You didn't give another one of your cards to the next player. Thank you. I love you. Spades. Ace of spades. Eight of spades. A bit over six of spades. Thank you. Diamonds. I hail the great queen of Mal. I hail the very great queen of Mal. No, you have to put the other card face down on the draw pile. Thank you. I love you. Not it. Not, not it. it. No. Oh. You lost. Not it. Thank you. Oh, I hear a great king of mouth. Diamonds. <laughs> Have a nice day. Have a very nice day. I love you. I love you. Failure to say, I'll hail the great queen of mouth. Thank you. I love you. Five of spades, Mal. Spades. I hold the great king of Mal, king of spades. For spades, I win. I go second, but I'm okay with that. I think the loser should get a punishment. You really think that? It sounds like a good idea to me. Do you know who the loser is? No. It's you! No. Oh, you're right. Well, now that it's mentioned, I think the audience wants to see a punishment. If I were watching a video and a punishment is mentioned, I would be disappointed if there wasn't a punishment. Let's try to think of a good one. It sounded disgusting. That was done for Daring Demitas in the YouTube series parodies video. Yo, is that a YouTube card? Yes, the audience can click on that to watch the 44.5 minute long YouTube series parodies video, which you all are in, as well as Ernie Swim 9. Sorry about your lighting in that video. That's alright. My lighting is better now. Are we going with that one? I think we should hear other ideas. How about she do something embarrassing? I've already embarrassed myself by dressing up as a girl and wearing a rainbow dash wig because we couldn't find the blonde wig, so I assumed that I originally thought Bitsy would be a one-time thing, so my mother gave away the blonde wig. And my mother couldn't find another blonde wig, so she got me this one, but recently the blonde wig was found. Do you really think I should embarrass myself more by having my embarrassment do something embarrassing? Yeah, dog. I want to know. Is she ticklish? Um, that might be questionable. I did ask a question. And also, I'm not entirely sure how I would do that. Oh, being boozled. Going back to Jimmy's idea, those are potentially disgusting, and this would be another way to help get rid of them. What is this? There are bumps on my teeth. Oh, I have braces, and I can't remove them for a character or any reason, so Jimmy and Bidust are having two. Then maybe it's best we don't have being boozled. I've eaten them before with my braces, and I've eaten popcorn. One time, one of my brother's brackets got loose from popcorn, but my braces were fine. I've even eaten some of my mother's crockpot candy more recently, which has peanuts in it, and my braces still have never been broken or anything. Okay. Hey, Beth, do you want a jelly bean? Yeah, do you have some, like, here? They're in my room. I'll go get them. I like the Dr. Pepper ones. The licorice ones are disgusting. I agree. I like licorice. Me too, but not a lot. There are no Dr. Pepper beans in my room, but there must be a flavor that Beth would like. I'll be back. Are you ticklish, Beth? Um, well... You are. Okay, yes. You have to ask Bryce and Beth for permission if you want to do that.
I will not do anything on or off camera that Bryce wouldn't put on his channel. Um, well, I guess I'll try. I'm back. Does anybody else want a jelly bean? No thanks. No, I'm good. I think I see peach ones in there. I love the peach ones. Yes, there are peach ones. This tastes like Sarawa. <laughs> are they expired? Well, it's past the best before yeah. date, but I think they're still good. Except these are bean boozled. Yeah. There are good flavors and disgusting flavors, and the disgusting flavors are disguised as the good flavors. Look at the flavor list. Interesting. Bethany might try a tickling punishment. Did I put that in the script? I don't care about the script. Would our Dizzle do that to your Regina? Not that I know of, but would he kill a person just... The person parents just because of a banana peel prank. Well, this is just Dr. R. Dizzle. I mean, Dr. Dizzle R. I think I need to inform you. What else have you possibly done, you stupid son of a bitch? None of this is true, bro. What? My name is Art Dizzle. I'm not even a real doctor. None of this even happened. You know what? You just got pranked, son. <laughs> You're right, that's worse. Would you include my suggestion? Well, I guess I could try, maybe, I don't know. How about I try to make that video and if I succeed, perhaps, maybe, I don't know. If I fail... Permission granted? Okay, sure, yes. Beth? I guess I'll try it. What have I gotten my channel into now? Ironically, here's a confession. I think my character was harder than the other three characters. To all, to all, have a good day. Hey, I just got the. How do you spell it? B O O Z L. This. Hey, can I plug in my social media? Okay, my social media is... Okay, we're done here, I guess. I'm pretty expecting me to have to go. As you can see, this video got weird. The time I was creating the script, there was snow outside.
And I was thinking another punishment for Beth would be uh, barefoot snow walk. But then when it was time for me to record, or actually at this moment I have not recorded the weird parts you just saw. I've only recorded us at the table so far. But at this time, they're calling for a snow again on Monday. So it's Friday right now, and, it's, and there should be snow on Monday, so it's there's a possible school delay or cancellation. But I've decided, uh, no, there's, there's no way I'm going to, you know, put on the wig again and record myself. Going outside with... Are you kidding me? If you would like to create an intro or outro for me, you can do that. If you're a smart, click the like button. If you're a genius, click the subscribe button. And you will see me next time. This recording is on Christmas Eve. And... We open our stockings on Christmas Eve, or pick the stuff out of it. I got these, and I want these candies. Hammond's candies. This one is Seaside Caramel. Dark chocolate filled with sea salt caramel. And this one is called Pigs and Taters. Milk chocolate with crispy bacon bits and potato chips. I want to record myself taste testing these. First the sea salt caramel. Ooh. Oh look, you can see the caramel. Maybe. I don't want light on. You can see the caramel in there. I can smell the bacon. I can smell the bacon very easily. I can smell the vision in order to exist, you'll smell bacon. I don't think I got the potato much. <laughs> 